Let's go Berserk and talk about the Berserker armor. The main power granted to you by this armor is removing all of your mental limiters so that you can go absolutely all out in any fight. When you don this armor, your mind stops seeing things like pain and self-preservation as problems so that you can let out your max capacity of speed and strength. This armor will also temporarily repair your body, so if you break a bone, the armor will inject itself into your bone and return your bones back to their proper place, not to be confused with actually healing you though. And now let's talk about the major drawbacks. If you don't keep your negative emotions in check while wearing the armor, you'll slowly begin to lose your psyche and turn into a bloodthirsty monster that attacks anything on sight. And on top of that, if you go into that bloodthirsty mode too many times, you'll begin to lose your five senses and your mind will slowly break down. And finally, the armor changes its appearance depending who wears it. For example, here's a skull head and here's a wild dog. The Dragon Slayer. So this sword was crafted by a skilled blacksmith named Godo. The king of Godo's land asked someone to make a sword capable of slaying a dragon and Godo took the task very seriously and forged a monstrous sword. Upon seeing the sword though, the king was furious cause the sword was so impractical that he threatened Godo's life and forced Godo to go into hiding. Skip ahead in time and Godo meets the main character Guts and Guts decides to wield the Dragon Slayer. And since Guts has been wielding a sword that's almost bigger than him since he was a kid, the Dragon Slayer's not too big a problem. For reference, Guts can swing the sword with little effort and it weighs 408 pounds and is 5 feet long. Also through many battles, the sword has actually been tempered by the malice of countless astral monsters, so he can even damage things like spirits and ghosts. 